Hi everyone and welcome to part two of our fall weekend here at the cabin. Uh, today was the opening day of pheasant hunting season here in Pennsylvania. So we were up pretty early this morning. Um, we've been out all day in the rain and the wind and the cold and you can see my, my face is definitely wind burned. I can feel it. Um, but we're just getting settled in back in back here at the cabin. S'mores is passed out on her bed right here at my feet and she's looking pretty warm and cozy. But uh, I'm still pretty chilly, so I'm going to get a fire going, and then maybe even a coffee, and also get the crock pot started for dinner, and then, then probably take a nap. So, I'll catch up with you later, we'll have dinner and a movie. So I guess we'll call this one Dinner and a Movie. Thanks for watching. So I hope you all don't get bored of me starting a fire pretty much in every video, but that's what we do when we're at the cabin. So, I'll figure I'll run you through it, but... The first thing I do is, um, if I was to just put wood in there and try to start it, it would it would smoke up the cabin. So this was a little bit of a learning experience um, the first couple tries uh, when I was lighting this. But the first thing I do is I, I burn a little fire starter, um, which is just like a little square puck, which I keep here in my, my flea market lunch box. But yeah, so I'll get one of these fire starters going and that pretty much warms up the inside of the, of the stove. And then once that burns out, it burns for about, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so. But I just put, put one of these in there and get it going. And then all the air controls I keep wide open so it gets a gets that little wood fire starter going. And then I just wait that out for like I said for about five minutes and then I'll I'll kind of build a little bit of a little hut in there out of uh, like some smaller pieces of wood. Build like a little foundation. Sometimes I, I even put in another fire starter, but I usually try to put the wood in before that before that fire starter burns out and then it'll start the wood up and then I'll be good to go and I won't get any smoke back in the cabin. All right, so that fire starter has been burning here for a few minutes. Um, I normally let them go till they're till it's almost out, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to get started here, but yeah, I, uh, like I said, all the air controls are fully open. So this is getting full air. Um, and at this point I just kind of build, like I said earlier, a little, kind of just a little foundation ar around my wood burner, or sorry, my fire starter, and then, then I just kind of put a piece over the, the flame, and sometimes, like I said earlier, I'll put a second one in there, but, um, but this usually does the trick, and then once that gets going I still leave the air controls fully open um, and then once that gets going I just load it up and uh, it takes off pretty good so we'll let that go here for a few minutes and hopefully that'll catch and then I'll uh, load it up all right so that centerpiece is blazing pretty good um, I don't have any smoke coming back in the cabin and you can already feel uh, the chill has been taken off in the cabin. So um, one thing I definitely wish I had was a nice rocking chair so I can sit and rock in front of the fire. But maybe someday if I put on another room in the cabin I can move my cot and that way I'll have room for a rocking chair. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get it loaded up. And this will burn for a couple hours. And then I'll I'll dampen it down a little bit once I get it, once it gets going. Uh, and then it'll be nice and toasty in here. And yeah, I got the the smallest version that they have at tiny wood stoves. So you need pretty small wood this one's really small but I think um, 
like like a piece like that maybe like I think 10 or 8 or 10 inches will will fit in here if you put it like at an angle all right but yeah load it up Ooh, I got one block in the handle yeah there but yeah once that gets fully going I'll like I said I'll I'll turn the, the air dampers down we'll be good to go So I love making coffee outside on the deck, but on days like today, this thing comes in real handy. So that hot coffee and the fire are already warming the cabin up. Yeah, it's definitely burning good. I'll throw one more piece on there while I have it open. Nice and toasty. You could probably call this the world's easiest crock pot recipe or maybe the laziest crock pot recipe but two ingredients i use a bottle of sweet baby rays sweet and spicy so i basically coat the bottom of the crock pot <coughs> And then I just pop a little pork roast in there, spin it around, put the rest of the bottle on top. And that's it. So in about four or five hours, I'll I'll get a couple forks and I'll separate the pork and then I'll let it go for a couple more hours. And it's actually pretty good and it's that simple. So I'm going to take a nap and we'll see you in four hours. All right, so it's been about five hours. So this should definitely be ready to, uh, ready to shred up here oh yeah yeah this was a pretty small roast so probably didn't even need this long but yeah I normally just shred it up let it go for maybe another hour and then Definitely be good to go after another hour. Nice. So we actually took a couple hour nap. S'mores. Taking about a five hour nap. She's whooped after this morning. All right, I'm gonna let that simmer for about another, maybe just a half hour, and then we're gonna eat. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's coyotes howling in the background. All right, so it's been about another half hour. We're gonna go ahead and make a sandwich here. Let's 
see if I can do this without spilling it all over the place. Another scoop ought to do it. Oh yeah. Alright. And the, the third special ingredient, and maybe the most important, Pretzel bun. <laughs> and I gotta support my local brewery down home, Dancing Gnome, while we're up here in the Allegheny National Forest. This beer's making s'mores so thirsty you can hear her drinking her water in the background. <laughs> All right, everyone, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, eat dinner here. It's been a pretty long day, and uh, then I'll probably get a movie going and then just fall asleep to that. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I don't think I've ever tried one of these on uh, an electric burner, but we're gonna give it a try and see if it works. Let that warm up a little bit. And we'll throw it on there. There goes nothing. Looks like it's working. It smells like it's burning. <laughs> Pretty much done.